Hey, Larry Rivera here, my good friend and business partner, Jamie Palaz. Hey there. It is day 90. Woo We're done. We're done. Goodbye. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just nice. kidding. So, we just got through this video vlog challenge. We're done. We're, we were done. 90 days in the beginning of our video vlog challenge. I actually did more than 90 because I started in a lot of your videos. Whew. Yeah, I used you. A lot. So, you know, in the beginning <laughs> of this vlog challenge, we either, if you go back, if you are that bored, if you go back, there's some really good content. A lot of good in there. Somewhere around day 45, it was just kind of like, ugh, why did we take this vlog challenge? Vlog challenge. It's well, it's because we started fun. getting really busy. And so we're like, so here's, here's what I got for you guys. So there's a couple of things that did come out of the, the 90 day vlog challenge. Number one is at some point for the video challenge, we got a new camera to work with. Yeah. That was cool. Actually, new lens, you mean. New lens. Well, we, <laughs> did we get a new camera? No, we we did, had the camera. The whole time? Yeah. Oh, well, we got a new lens. <laughs> but yeah, just so you know, if you guys get a new lens, it like changes the entire oh, yeah. tapestry of everything that you're doing. Yeah. It'll make your other stuff look like crap. You know, we, 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 we've, um, I, I know personally, I've grown as, as a videographer. I, I have so many more ideas in my head of things that I want to do, mm -hmm. ways I want to shoot, ways I want to use lighting. So I learned a lot. Like, I didn't get to apply a lot of it in these video vlog challenges. But we've been learning a lot. About but yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of different things that you're going to see from us on this channel in the future. A yeah. lot of different reviews, a lot of different how-tos. Um, different cut videos, we might even like do scene selection. I think the biggest thing we learned from this is that we prefer to maybe do a video a week or a couple of videos a week and produce massive content than be just have Well, just so you guys, the viewers understand something, not only have I been doing these video vlog challenges, I've been producing videos for my martial arts niche as well. Right. And our our oh, martial arts niche. I'm so greedy. He is very greedy. I'm starting to think he has a different last name, but I won't go there. Um, <laughs> hey now. So the the the, the reality is that I'm surprised we got done this challenge. I was ready to quit. Really? Oh, well, I was ready to quit at like video 70. I was like, I'm well, I told quit. you you could. Yeah, but I was like, I was. But I wasn't about to quit. Yeah, I wasn't gonna let her. You know, I never hear the end of it. Actually, I would have left you alone. You're right. So anyways, <laughs> anyways, um, highlights of this video vlog challenge. Seriously, if you're going to do something like this, it, you have to go into it and, and use it as a learning experience, you know? And I, I think it's best if you have a theme, like already, you know, program what you want to do, what you want to accomplish from it. We kind of just like, what, with it. It also depends on who you are. For example, before I did this video challenge, I did videos, but I really, it took doing 90 videos straight for me to get over this hurdle of, I care what you people think, because I really don't. I don't I, you know, clearly if you watch some of my videos, they're pretty ridiculous. <laughs> you know, so I got over that fear of, oh my God, what are people gonna say? What are they gonna think? It doesn't really matter, dude, it's your life. Do what you wanna do, have fun with it. And another thing is, you know, over time, you, you, you grow a relationship with the camera, right? You become, it, it, everything becomes more relaxed. It becomes easier to talk in front of it. Uh, sometimes you see people picking up the camera for the first time, and you can tell, you know. I've, I had a chance to see some fantastic videographers in my research trying to figure out mm -hmm. what was the right cameras, what were the right angles. So I did a lot of studying, training, and growing over this vlog challenge, and it made me want to do more videos, but it made me want to do more videos, take my time, and make them even better. Yeah. You know? That's the biggest thing. I learned about angles. You know, for the kind of videos that we've been doing on Profile Knowledge, I don't think it really matters, but I learned about, you know, distance of where a person should be if you're doing a close-up. Right. Right, if you want to show emotion, if you're doing a little bit of further shot, right, or if you want to get the whole scene. I know that sounds pretty basic, but that was big news to me. Um, I learned about never let a girl punk you into doing something that you really don't want to do because you're forced sometimes to actually go through with it. Well, I didn't punk you. I just, I just <laughs> made a suggestion. 
Uh -huh. What he's saying is don't be such a pushover and pussy. <laughs> That's what that translated you, to. But <laughs> so like listen, so I encourage you not only to do a vlog challenge, but to, we are also running a health challenge in the middle of a vlog challenge. Yes. Um, I think we're, yeah, and I give them like prayer challenges. And she, yeah, challenges. there's all kinds yeah, of challenges. That was going on. Hopefully by the end of this, if you didn't watch all those other videos, if you didn't go back, hopefully you're a better person for watching them. And got a lot of laughter and some gold nuggets thrown in here and there. Ooh, there was nuggets in there? There was only maybe two or videos that there was totally no gold nuggets in, I'll admit that. <laughs> the towards the end I was getting really thin. <laughs> um, so that's it really. We're, we're wrapping this up. You probably... So um, would you do another one? No. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> no, I learned my, you know. I'd rather produce. I've seen, so less. I've seen a lot of people talk about doing 90 day video challenges. A lot of people. Oh yeah, we talk about you. it. They talk and about you. it. Yes, you over there. But very few people ever get through it. Here's what I'm trying to say to you, right man? Like if you're going to do something, do it. Make, there is, my life was is just as busy as anybody else's life. But for the past 90 days, I did a video every single day, no matter how busy I was, no matter how late it was, no matter what was happening, the damn video got done, it got freaking uploaded. I made a couple videos at 11.30 at night. Yeah. She did. But, but the point is, you know, I made it happen. She made it happen. The videos got done. They got done. And, there you and that was the point of the 90 day video challenge. Can we do 90 videos in 90 days? There's straight? actually 90 videos. There's not, you know, like only 40 spread out through 90 days or 20 like some of those other people that are doing 90 day challenges. Very wrong. Now is a 90 day video challenge good for you? Well, here's how I want to put it in perspective for you. If you don't know how to do videos yet, yes. If you oh, yeah, are scared of the things. camera, yes. If you are, are having a hard time expressing yourself, yes. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of reasons why you might want to do this challenge. Now, if you already know what you're doing and you're like, you know, will this 90, video, 90 day vlog challenge really help me out in my business? Probably not, no, no. It won't increase your traffic no. really. Well, because, you know, it could if you use crazy headlines and titles. See, if you had a theme and did like, say like, I'll give an instance, if you were like a raw foodist and you did like 90 days of raw food dessert things or something, or some kind of theme. Well, like here's, that, here's the deal. You would get more traffic. Here, here, the way we did it. Here's the deal. In competitive niches, um, if you don't have a following, doing 90 videos is going to do nothing for you. Unless not, you've done your keyword research. Not even. No, if it's, if it's a competitive niche, like, like health. We'll take health mm -hmm. as a good example. You can have the best headlines in the world. If you have one subscriber to your channel and you only get one like and somebody has 10 subscribers and they get 10 likes, they win. Buy likes. I know because of my one channel, I have over 6,000 plus subscribers, and I can rank like that for even no titled um, videos. Where on my older, I had an older home business type channel that has like 350 like hardcore subscribers, and I was able to get those videos ranked. On Profit on Knowledge, I don't really have that many subscribers mm -hmm. that are following and paying attention. Nobody likes nothing, right? Hey, like, subscribe, and, and share my channel. I don't, our channel. I our channel, our cha share. <laughs> share the channel, right? Because we're not bad people, right? He just doesn't know how to share. I, I don't know how to share. I'm just a little greedy, but you he's know, working on, he's just, working on. just like the stuff because then, you know, all that keyword research that I'm doing, it might actually get me somewhere. The best, we did a whole slew of videos, right? I used to work Illuminati and then people were like, oh, let's check Illuminati. I did, I was stupid. I put a really good quality video up, right? Light on the title, nobody watched it. It was like crickets. Stupid video, crazy headline, views. <laughs> so it really depends on your niche, and you really should do your research beforehand. Unless, like Larry said, you're a total newbie, afraid of the camera, tripping over your words, or whatever, just new to the whole situation, then it doesn't matter. Here's just tip. go, do, no. and, and learn. You don't, have to, you don't have to subscribe to nothing. You don't have to opt into nothing. Here's a free tip for you. In your headline, your title, whatever those are, put that as the first sentence in your description. Break it up and make it your tags. SEO videos, you're a rock star. Okay? <laughs> I'll repeat that. Whatever your title is, 
make it the first sentence in your description. Whatever that title is, break that word up and make it part of your tags. You have like 500 words, I think, or 500 letters or something. Characters. Like, characters for your, for your tags. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's YouTube SEO in a nutshell, right? So save yourself locked it in somebody's uh, you know, list saying they're gonna tell you how to rank number one on Google. If there's already a lot of competition for your whatever niche it is, you're not gonna rank for number one unless you have a following, unless you have people subscribing. But flukes happen, right? I have this one video on Profit on Knowledge. I am a gamer. Well, she makes me be really busy, so I haven't been doing much gaming. I've just been working. But hold on, hold on. You have how many hours to watch TV? At stop. Night? Oh, hey. It's a choice. Ah, you choose oh, to watch ah, TV. Oh, oh, ah, stop. Okay, 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 okay. We're taking. So here's the here's the deal. Here's the deal. Um, I did a, a, a video because I wanted to play a, a, a computer game, and it wasn't working. So I found a workaround. And you decided to share. And I decided, well, and I decided to share it. Made a kind of a cheesy, corny video, and it got tons of likes, and it still gets shared to this day. It has the most views like, on my every day. <laughs> yeah, and it has more views than anything else on my profit on our profit on knowledge channel. And it has nothing to do. It has something to do with nothing. Um, so. <laughs> But what was the magic? The magic was it was about something that other people were interested in. That's the magic. Yeah. So you YouTubers out there, can I just give you a suggestion? Just just a suggestion because I have some popular channels, m m much more popular than Profit and Knowledge. It's much better for you to make a YouTube channel, have fun with it, and talk about things you really love to talk about and do things that you really love to do. There's a lot of you YouTubers out there who are in the internet network marketing niche and then you're trying to sell yourself, right? It's boring and nobody gives a crap. Stop, no one cares. Nobody cares how many times you've read Zig Ziglar's book. Nobody cares how inspirational Jim Rohn is. You know what? Because the people that have that, those videos up and you see like 5,000, 20,000 views on these videos, there's a couple of things you need to think about. Number one, they may be paying money to get advertising and get more video views. Okay, that's, that's, that's a big possibility. Number two, they may just straight up be buying subscribers. For the, it's, it's not ethical, but do tons of people do it. I tried, it doesn't work very well. Um, you just waste your money and people hate you anyway, so don't do it. Uh, I've had the most success on channels. There's, I got channels you even know about. But I, there's, there's more success on channels where you are doing stuff like showing pictures of your lake. Showing picture or doing videos with your dog, doing videos at a carnival, doing videos on a boat, just doing Reviewing videos products. on your life, reviewing products or big tutorials. ones. Right? How to tutorials. They're big. People love them. Even if, like, for instance, okay, our Canon uh, T4i that we have, there's tons of reviews. And no matter how many tons of reviews there are or how to's, like, people are still watching. Oh, yeah, we're probably going to buy another one of these cameras just so we can do reviews of the camera with, with really the real camera. Hey, yeah, hey. But there's a lot of different things that you can do. We could have added more lighting to this video and, and, and really brightened the video up. Or we could have, you know, blurred up the background. I was just gonna take do the video on my um, on my phone, but I decided, nah, why? Why do it? But I'll do something cool. Keep talking to them. Okay. So I have no idea what he's about to do. This is totally normal, Larry. You know, doing whatever he does. I don't even know what he's doing. No clue. So um. Some tips. I'm gonna get some tips. I just love how he just leads me to start babbling on and on. Some tips for you guys. Um, like he was saying, how to videos, awesome. Those do the best. So, some of the stuff that you're gonna see for Profit on Knowledge is us doing a whole lot more how to videos. And I think he is filming us with his phone. I'm not sure why he's doing that. I'm sure I'll figure that out later. I'm assuming he's probably going to put this somewhere in the video that you guys will be watching, which you're currently watching, and if so, you already know before I know what the heck's going on, because I'll know after he makes it, yeah. Why you gotta pick on me, man? I'm just trying to make a different angle for the video so I'm, I can add a little extra effort I'm not into trying to make the video. I'm saying I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, I'm just being goofy. Um, I'm excited. I am more excited today because I don't ever have to do another one of these 90 day vlog videos ever again as long as I live. Yes! Was I a little too excited about that? No. No. <laughs> I think we should have a party tonight. 
balloons, cake, gluten-free cake, mm. dairy-free. Mm. So here's the so here's the deal. So that's what we have for you. You know, it's gonna get really. <laughs> it's gonna be really quiet for a couple of weeks. I, uh, we have a real cool guy. What's his name? Roger Madden. Yeah, Roger Madden. Dude, we appreciate you. Yes, we, we do. We know that you're in that black you're, hole, isn't it? Yeah, you, you're here. out there. You're out there, bro. We hear you. <laughs> and what I want to say, because you asked this question. It, we're, we're not going away. We're, there's a lot more no. things no. we have planned. You're gonna, it's going to be really quiet around here for a month or two, I think. No. Because once we get rolling, we're not going to talk about what we're doing. Well, we're working on a client project right now. So we have a client. At least for the next couple of weeks, and we're a, not going to hear anything. Right, we, we're working on a client sure. um, thing. And we also are working on our own product line mm -hmm. of, of stuff, you know, that have not tell them. It's not in the home business world. It's not in a it's not a business opportunity. It's our profit on knowledge. And right, and what we're gonna do a profit on knowledge for you guys who took the time to watch this video and have been following us or read our blog, is we combined have many, 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 many years online marketing. We we've made money through online marketing. We've made money as affiliate marketers, we've made money as network marketers, we even put together our own products from time to time, made money from that. There's a lot of stuff that we have done, we, we are always in a constant state of learning and growing, right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna kind of change the way that we personally have been doing business in the home business mm. sector. Yes. You know, where we're gonna get rid of things, that, and there's nothing, and then please, 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 there's nothing wrong with network marketing. There's nothing wrong with affiliate marketing. But what we want to do, what our passion is, is we want to help you understand that whatever it is you already know how to do, there's a way for you to make a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of money with it. Yes, there is. There's a process that you go through. There are steps to take that will help you find that information that you're looking for. There is Oh, there's a way to do all kinds of things that you may not know how to do or you may not realize you need to do. And what we're going to do when we get some of our other projects out of the way is we're going to focus in this niche. And when I say niche, I'm talking about the home business niche. You folks out there at home looking, in your, looking at your computer asking yourself, can I make money online? This right. battery is about to die. See that little uh, red thing? Not good. No, it's blinking at us. All right. So, okay. hey! Video number 90, we Woo! talk to you guys soon. And there's gonna be a lot more to come. Pay attention. Uh, uh, I don't know, bye. Subscribe. <laughs> bye.